So the insights I've been getting were that this was really an ultimate kind of test on choosing negative or positive polarity. And I don't want to say that I failed because I've recognized it now and therefore I can correct it. But I had a choice to choose the what my soul would do or to ignore my soul and see myself as wanting vengeance and not believing that humanity could be so dark and trying to see it from a logical point of view instead of from a spiritual point of view and like even now I can understand like I know so I know where I was at like I really wanted a logical explanation for it and the logic took me down to mainstream ways of looking at it and that is a, like a really that's my comfort zone which I was reaching for because you know it's comfort being mainstream it's not comfort with your soul but it's comfortable as in there's a certain agreement to how reality looks and when you are talking like mainstream like everybody else there's that comfort level there you know that you're not going to be speaking like wacko and right then when I was you know mind was going cross-eyed everything was going wacko I really needed some kind like I didn't want to be more wacko <laughs> um, but now I'm really quite comfortable with um, um, with my beliefs again and therefore I don't need mainstream comfort uh, I can uh, align to my soul and get for comfort that way and that's where my, my next step um, my current you know thing is what I'm going through is even if I never speak to that guy again my, I need to forgive him I need to forgive myself um, you know or I need to take uh, responsibility for my place in it and I need to and this is so like so anti what mainstream would say because <laughs> mainstream wants you know to get out the pitchforks and 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 you know and kill people that are that are yeah but I need to love those people my soul needs to love those people and they needs to forgive those people and needs to have unconditional acceptance for everybody for where they're at and I know that's not going to resonate because pretty much um, I've tested mainstream and tested even my friends and they're not no one's going to think that way but I know like what would my higher self do what would my soul do what is in alignment to who I am and what I'm doing here yeah I can keep going through the waves of um, wanting to protect other people from this guy and that thinking that maybe that's why I was put in that path yet yeah, even now like I can feel that yeah, like I, I am conflicted by that sometimes and I, I'll, I'll figure it out I will but but in alignment to my soul when you go through your day uh, looking at it from afar rather than right in it and you're looking at it from a, a soul's journey a, a higher self's perspective a even beyond that um, which I've never gone into but I will when I, I just don't know how to verbalize it it's just like this um, understanding not even an understanding it's an opening to understanding <laughs> um, so I can't verbalize that but looking at it going what would my soul do not what would Penny do but what would um, something beyond me do and the answer is always love and the answer is never fear-based control based kill them all revenge all that kind of stuff that kind of stuff is very human negative programming stuff that that we have been you know programmed in from from childhood and the love based stuff is is something that we kind of know more in our in our soul in our heart in our gut in our when we choose that way it is lighter it's freer um, it's scary but it's not like living in fear because it's more like loving what you fear but it is a very difficult choice to make the most difficult choice to make in this sick society sick distorted society
it's the hardest thing to do to be above the wrongs and choose the you know what your higher self would do which is generally love um, and so that's my challenge even if I never speak to him again as in like I'm not um, talking about romantic love I'm not talking about trying to get back into his life and you, like that's cut off <laughs> um, but my energy that is feeling blocked up and has blocked a lot of my emotions and feelings from my heart down so that I don't actually feel much anymore this is where I get my apathy from this is where I get my I don't give a shit about anything from and it's all where I get my self-doubt from and it's why I'm not um, communicating in a loving way except that it's mostly my character but I am like t running on 20% out of my 100% so lots of things have been blocked up and I'm not also not able to experience and and I cut that off on purpose but I'm not ac actually able to experience the wholeness of the insights and things like that that I was getting when I was full in love with humanity everybody the whole thing everything even the car even everything you touch the fact that we can smell taste touch see hear write experience drive every I don't know everything when I was in that mode I was getting way more and I think I've cut myself off or I'm not paying attention to it or whatever because those those things are completely blocked out because I'm negative polarized and I'm not able to love and accept unconditionally so I know that that's where I need to go because every time it, I would always think that but rational me would say no fuck that <laughs> uh, and go into mainstream mode it was like an automatic negative doubtful self-doubt thing where I was choosing the easy path which is to be angry the hard path is to is to forgive but it will be lighter for my soul because I've done it before I know it's like the removal of judgment with others just wondrous but you are alone because you there's not many um, others in your life that that are thinking the same way and when you find them you just oh my god they exist but they're so rare that you feel like a fucking freak because you're so loving towards even negative beings.